Hello everyone, how's it going today? My name is Mike and for you today I am going to be continuing on with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and this is the third video in my new tutorial series for Dungeons and, and Temples targeted to help either new players to this game or returning players that have been in that inactive for a while and can't seem to remember where to go or what to do. Uh, I've been in this game uh, quite a few times since I was a little kid and I just wanted to share my knowledge with other people and help them for those who are having trouble. Either new players or inactive returning players who don't remember where to go or what to do. So in the last in the last video, we went through the steps in order to gain access to the second dungeon, and we completed the second dungeon. Now we got to go and do the steps and get the items required in order to gain access to the third dungeon, which is the last dungeon as, uh, as a child, um, at least for now. There is a temple later in the game last temple we gotta do a child section and adult section but technically this be the last actual like dungeon as a child only uh in the video before that we showed how to do the first one so let's get started okay so you want to make your way up here Whoops, boink. And you gotta destroy those two rocks. Now, I'm going to equip... ...a Deku Shield. Oh, another bomb. Hey, get some money. Money, money, money. It, there is a couple, there's some cows if you blow up that and fall through the hole. We're gonna go backwards because it's faster. But in that hole... There's, a, there's some cows and if you play a Pona song... Um... In front of him, you have an empty bottle, you can get some milk. Okay, so just take it these guys. They're annoying. You never have too many Deku nuts. Alright, so now I just climb up this one. I'm hoping that these videos will help you. So when you're up here, you just take a bomb, blow it up. In that entrance there, um, you go into Death Mountain Crater. Now, depending on how many hearts you got, will determine How long the timer before you burn? Because you don't have a heat resistant tunic. Not yet. So there's a crate, a box, that if you roll into it, there's a ghost katala there. Um, and if you're quick enough, and it's been done, I've done it before, you can keep going and it'll look like an off the edge on the side. There will be like a climbable wall, and if you go down, there's like, it looks like a little room, like inside the wall, and there's a heart piece. But well, we're not going to get any of that, because I'm not concentrating on that, I'm concentrating on how to get to dungeons and temples, and how to complete said dungeons and temples. I'm just letting you know that they're there. Uh, 
Okay, so there's a bunch of these great fairies, and they give you mag uh, magic powers and magic spells, and one of them even gives you um, a double heart fence where the hearts you have will have a white outline on, and you take half damage. So if you have 10 hearts, then it's like having 20 hearts because you take half the damage you did before. Okay, so you just talk to this owl and owl just give you a ride back down. Now, from the top of the roof, you can jump down here, and if you go in there, there's a heart piece. Like I said, we're not going to get that. There's a bunch of ghost katalas around. Here's the ghost katala house. You go in, there's some, there's some guys that were transformed uh, because of a curse, were transformed into skatala giant ones. And for every 10 ghost katalas you get, it cures them of the curse, and they'll give you a reward. You get walled upgrades, and uh, you get a heart piece. So, as soon as you exit Kakariko Village and go down the stairs, you, in, you make an immediate uh, left, and you just go straight. You come this way, there's Ghost Katala if you bump into that tree. Yada yada yada. Don't care, Owl, you creepy. Creepy owl. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna blow these boulders and make way here. Uh, if you take this chicken, you can get two heart pieces early. <coughs> Excuse me. Like that one right there. I mean, sometimes it's tricky to do, but you can. All right, and if you take this chicken all the way to the end. Then you need another heart piece early, or you can wait till you get the boomerang from the third dungeon. And get it that way. But if you really want to get them early, then you just do what I showed you. And come up this way. See, there's a heart piece right there. With the chicken, you can glide. So, anyway. Don't need that. You come up here, and you place all this lullaby in front of the waterfall. You gain access to Zora's Domain. So here's where the Zora race resides. Okay. So if you 
you break those, you can get a Deku Stick and some Deku Nuts. You don't have to get them, but I mean, it never hurts to have too many. Right? I mean, they are very useful items for attacking and defending. Okay, so you come up the stairs. You make your way over to this cave tunnel thing. And you speak to the Zora. You do a diving game, collect rupees, and then you go back up and talk to the Zora. And the Zora will give you a diving upgrade, which is the next item we need in order to get a bottle that has a letter from Princess Ruto, who is King Zora's daughter. And then once we do all that, you can get to the third dungeon. And it costs 20 rupees for the um, actually instead of having to come back down afterwards. Dive in game costs 20 rupees, but you get 25 back for collecting them. So it's not a whole lot, so you gotta capture a fish. You gotta dump it in front of Jabba Jabba, which is the third dungeon. got the silver scale you can dive deeper. Okay, so just jump off and you gotta dive and go inside that entrance. There's a shortcut to Lake Hylia, which is the next place we have to go. That bottle right there, you just lock on and you dive. Oh my god, there's something in there. Ah. Once you have that, equip it and just dive back down here. The reason why I got the fish there and wasted one of my fairies is because. Um, it saves me a trip back down. Because once I showed this letter in the bottle to King Zora, it'll become empty and I'd have to go all the way back down and get a fish like you saw me do. Which wastes time. So, you come up to King Zora and you Z target on him. And you just pull out the bottle. Which will trigger this dialogue. And for those who. For those of you who don't know about this. It's the infamous Zora, King Zora Wiggle, which seems to take forever but for him to get out of the way so I can get to the fair dungeon. Now, if you really do want to get another uh, fairy, there is something else that you can do. So, you see this 
this uh, stone thing. If you play Zelda's lullaby in front of it, they'll spit it a fairy. You only do it one, once per, I guess, time. And you just... Yeah. Just in case, like, none of you knew that. Now, I was having a problem earlier. This is actually a second recording. Because, what a reason, when I was trying to go through a door in the third dungeon, um, it came, my, my Project 64 emulator, which is what I emulate the N64 games on, came up with an error, and then my emulator just, like, crashed and went back to the ROM selection. So. That wasn't good. So I'm going to create a save state here. And what we're going to do, we can do this after the dungeon, or you can just do it now. Right, go away now, baby. So you come over this way. Now, if you bump into there, this ghost could tell I'm not going to get it. But if you put a bomb here, it'll just break all that down. You can get another magic spell in here. One of the most underrated and probably one of the items that isn't used as much as it should because good uses. It's called Fora's Wind, <clears throat> which is a magic spell you get from the Great Fairy. Pointy boob lady. With too many edges. It should be illegal to have that many edges and boobs that pointy. That's just crazy. So basically what this is, it's a magic spell that can create a warp point, if you use it again, you can either dispel the warp point or go to that warp point. And it can be used in Dungeons and Temples to have some map. It's a very useful item. But a lot of people don't seem to use it. Which is totally not okay. I only have five deck of sticks. So you come back this way. We're gonna drop our fish that we caught in front of Jabber Jabber. I'm gonna get sucked in. Now I hope the error doesn't happen again. I really don't know what caused that, to be honest. But I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save state and save again. And then I'm going to just Reset the emulator. Just in case, you know, just a precaution. Okay, so... Once we're in here, you can just use a slingshot to get rid of that, uh, to hit that switch. Yeah, 
and you just come this way. I want to ignore that jellyfish. The jellyfish. Also, you can get rid of those bubbles just by uh, using a Deku nut. And here's Princess Rudo. Such a brat. Spoiled brat. Only things that she's good for are using her way to hold down switches, you throwing her to hit switches that hang from the ceiling, or throwing her to hit enemies and instantly kill them. Yeah, believe it or not, she could be used as a weapon. They, after she stupidly falls down this hole, you go after and you talk to her a couple times until she says, yeah, carry me. So you pick her up and just make you no know, come this way. I hate these bubbles so much. Okay, so you jump down here and you just throw her on top of there and hit the switch. So raise the water. Let's carry her again. Now around the corner is gonna be a switch off the ceiling. You can just throw her, like so, and make a cute sound. Ah, it's just, that happens the first time you uh, pick up a magic jar. And you just deflect the attack back, and you gotta wait for a platform. kind of cute. At the same time, you just can't ever forget about how annoying she really is. Okay, so once off the platform, you make your way back to the main chamber and go to the room straight across. Careful not to fall into any of those. Once in here, you take, an, take a right and avoid these because they will electrocute you. That's not the... Okay, but once you push down the switch, you want to come in here, store a jump slash so then you can do that and I'll have the same power as your jump slash. Okay, you want to throw a Deku Knot. And then just do a crouch stab. And get rid of him. I wonder what's in here. Not that time. It's the boomerang, one of my favorite items. Okay. I'm gonna be doing a lot of save states just in case that error comes up again. So once you're in that room, there are there is like one room that you don't have to go in. So just follow what I do. Okay, so once you leave that corridor, you just go to the opposite side. Now the blue switches, you have to put something there, otherwise it won't hold down. So don't worry, she'll be back there. So these are here. There's multiple, multiple of these. 
That's probably a map or a compass, you don't need to get it. So, you just take it down like that. And she gets mad at you. So, the room on the immediate left, you don't have to go in. You just make your way to the opposite side. And go to the left. Uh, there was a red slimy thing there that we just defeated, and it got rid of, um, well, we got rid of uh, the tail, something like that, technical, and the red slimy thing in front of here was free. Another one down. Pick up again. Okay. You just make your way this way and then you go right instead. There was another slimy thing here, but we defeated one of the tails. So you want to take care of these jellyfish first because if you try to attack that tail, um, the jellyfish will just come after you. And that's not good. Okay, so that's the last one. So once they're here, you just go straight and enter the main chamber once again. Avoiding those as carefully as possible. So once we're here, you avoid that and you just go here. There are two ghost katalas there and there. You can get if you want, but if not, you just go for here. Now, once you throw it there, there's, um, you know, a bit of dialogue, conversation, and then once you approach the platform, there'll be a boss, mini boss that will come up. A lot of people don't know how to defeat it, like the right way, and they just do the annoying, annoying method, which is the regular way. Like that platform, um, is going to be spinning, and usually you have to chase that around in order to hit its back. But if you roll into it when it's coming at you, and you pull out your boomerang, and then take your decky stick and jump slash with it, it'll die in one hit. Now, if you need a fairy, like, I, technically, I don't need any fairies, because I'm not going to die. Very hard for me to die in this game. If you need a fairy, you can just hit that pot and get another one. Now, I think the part... Is coming up, it caused the error. So that's why I save state and again. So you take your boomerang, hit that once. Now just deflect that. Yeah, I think it's like here. As soon as I go through here, or something like that. Oh! Huh! Ah, okay. So once through here, you just 
jump on that platform and a little lower. And you take one of these boxes and you put on the blue switch. Remember, blue switches need something to be on it at all times in order to, I guess, get through. So once you're through, you make your way this way. And then you climb up here. There's gonna be a switch. So you get to it kind of close. Like, right? And you just aim your boomerang, locked on, hit the switch, and jump down, or whatever method you want to use, jump down and come through here. Now, this boss can be tricky. Okay, this boss can be. A major pain in the ass. So, the first stage is this. And there's going to be three of these technicals, tentacles that is attached to. And you just Take your boomerang, and then the next step, um, you can just aim your boomerang like that to stun it right away. So that way, you know, just be as fast as possible. And then you can actually take the Deku Nut and destroy these. And then, of course, don't do that. And then the second, uh, third stage is basically, they're, they're closer together. So, it's going to be hard to get. So, you, again, you take a Deku Nut. Get rid of the get rid of the jellyfish, and then when it's in this right here, as long as you don't have your sword out, uh, basically what happens is that once it's like this, you take the boomerang, you can take the Deku stick and jump slash with it, and if you roll into it, you won't take damage. The reason why you roll into it is because the moment that you're damaged. It'll pop back up out of the ground uh, faster instead of waiting around for it to shoot its laser beams at you and, you know, then come out. But with three jump slashes from a Deku stick, like I've just done, boss will go down um, really quick. So we're just gonna get the heart container here. And there's Princess Rita looking displeased. Like I said that boss is actually the trickiest and most pain in the ass out of the three dungeons for the spiritual stones. Be quite annoying. So, I think what I'm going to do, instead of doing the usual thing when ending these tutorial videos, instead of ending the video the moment that I get the spiritual stone, I'm going to end it because it's the last dungeon before you get the master sword, I think what I'm going to do is that um, I am going to get the Master Sword. And then 
you know, once I go for all that dialogue, um, that will happen after when I pull the Mass Sword out. Um, that's where I'll end it. Yeah. Normally I would end it here, while it's up and above my head. But I think because we're, I'm going to be at a unique part, I think I'll end it. Um, when I get to Master Sword. Yeah. So anyway, we got all three spiritual stones. Okay, so from here... You just make your way back. jump off here it's faster this way and we're gonna go up this ladder now before we go get the mass sword there is one magic spell that you don't have to get right now but while you know while we are still child because you don't get it when you're a child while we're while we're still in child form, we'll go get one of the other magic spells called Din's Fire. Like you'll need that in order to in order to get inside one of the temples later on. You make your way You make your way to Hyrule Castle. I'm gonna walk backwards. Faster. And this scene is gonna happen. Ah, it's Ganondorf. I'm kind of tired. Come on, Link, do something. Be a badass. Like, no? Oh, okay.
Like another save state. Just in case. Okay. You target here. You dive and you'll get the Ocarina of Time. Which will replace your Fairy Ocarina. It's one of the items needed in order to get the Mass Sword. Yes, I can somewhat hear you. Alright, that's enough for me. So you make your way back into Castle Market. Yeah, well. You go this way. You know what's funny? That crackling sound? It's a sound of fire, like in a torch. And it's funny that I can hear it from all the way back there when it's just right down that hole. It's kind of funny. But anyway, you come this way and you take a bomb to blow it up. And come for here. Get another magic spell. Alright, fire. Is that his lullaby? Just give me the magic spell, you big pointy boob lady. I could probably kill someone with those boobs, like, holy crap. Very useful spell. Powerful. Okay, so once that's done, we gotta go back to I uh, rule castle. We gotta go to the castle market in order to do that. On this way, let's go through here up this ladder.
And this is the Temple of Time. Very spacious. We're gonna play the Song of Time that we got from Zelda in front of here. Okay, so that opened the door of time. Okay, so this is where we're gonna get the mask sword. Now I could actually end the stream um, as soon as I pull it out, which I might. But I think that's what I'll do. The moment I pull it out. Okay, so, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching, um, it really means a lot, there'll be more tutorial videos, um, down the road, you know, um, so hopefully these videos helped you, if you enjoyed the, if you enjoyed the content, uh, be sure to leave a like, share the video and or my channel, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see future content, and be sure to click the notification bell to get all updates that include video uploads or when I stream. And if you want to get even more updates, then you can follow me on Twitter, which is down below in the video description. That way you'll get notified and updated on anything that could be going on with my channel, videos, streams, you name it. Or you just want to chat. Whichever. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, I am going to end the uh, recording. I probably said stream by accident, but I meant recording. Uh, as soon as I pull, like, you know, pull the Master Sword um, from Pedestal. Pedestal. So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, share the video and my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get future con uh, future up to see future content. Be sure to click that notification bell to get all notifications, including videos and when I go live. If you want to get more uh, updates and notifications, be sure to follow me on Twitter, which is located in the video description below. Until next time, take care and see you later. Bye.